Hey, welcome back. In just a few hours, the Cowboys face off against Texas in the Big 12 championship game. Let's head out to our Steve McGee. He's in downtown Arlington. He's at the wrong arena this morning. <laughs> <laughs> We're expecting you to talk about Listen. Thunder, but today the focus is football. Well, the Thunder will play later tonight in downtown Dallas around 8:10. So it's going to be a long day for this guy right here. But with Oklahoma State playing here and Thunder being downtown Dallas, why not help out with our Oklahoma State coverage? But uh, it should be a great game. Kickoff a little bit past 11 o'clock. Uh, obviously, Oklahoma State, the underdog in this game. And I think sometimes that's a good thing. Well, Steve, with OSU being considered the underdogs in this matchup, we got to ask what will be some of those keys to pulling out a win today? I think as a head coach, sometimes you want to be the underdog going into a title game like this. Oklahoma State last check, some 14 and a half, 15 and a half point underdogs. All the pressure is on Texas to win one before they move on to the Southeastern Conference. Oklahoma State. Back in September, nobody thought this team would be here, but they fight to a 9-3 and three record. They have nothing to lose in this game. They're probably going to throw everything out there on the table, do an onside kick, fake field goal, fake punt. All that is possible for Oklahoma State. So uh, the Cowboys, you know, they can gamble in this game because they're not supposed to be here. They're not supposed to win. But you know what? With Mike Gundy, they're going to give everything they got. Ah, oh, that is so exciting. Okay, how does this game impact the future then for OSU and the Big 12 with them being considered a leader next year? Yeah, it'd be great. A great, uh, you know, starting point to move into the new look Big 12 next year. Of course, Utah coming in, Colorado's coming in, Arizona as well. Those teams are, are expected to be much better next season as well. So, Oklahoma, the uh, with Oklahoma and Texas leaving to going on the SEC, I think the Big 12 may not have that big name. Maybe that's going to be Oklahoma State and Utah next year battling it out. But it's going to be a very competitive league next year. But Oklahoma State would certainly love some momentum would help out in recruiting as well if they can get a win here today against Texas. Uh, I love it. It is just so exciting. One more question for you. This is, of course, a huge game. What do you think Gundy is telling his players today to help keep them calm? You've got to start fast. The last okay. couple of games, have you noticed, they didn't start out very well in Orlando. They couldn't recover against UCF. And then last week, they were down 24-6 to BYU. They win the game in double overtime. Perhaps they have some momentum edge right there. Texas uh, looked really good last week, winning 57-7 to over Texas Tech. That, that game was never in doubt. But you got to tell these guys, hey, no one expected us to be here in September, but we're here right now. We have a chance to pull off a big upset against Texas, and they've done extremely well against the Longhorns if you look at the recent memory in the last 10 12 years I love it Steve thank you so much I have faith in the pokes I believe that they can do this we're cheering for the Cowboys all the way today thanks so much kickoff again at 11 down in Arlington we'll check back with Steve coming up in our next half hour